welcome to homeopathic pharmacy academy in this video lecture i am going to explain about preparation of drug in modern method or new method so why new method in the last class we have discussed about preparation of medicine according to old method or hanmanian method so what was the necessary of bringing about modern method or new method of preparation of medicines let us see that in old method or hanmanian method or classical method there was a wide difference in the method of preparations as you know all hanmanian mother tinges had variable drug strength that means the moisture hanman consider moisture as a part of drug so the drug strength varies according to the moisture or water present in the drug substances so that is a reason why and in every process class 1 to class 9 there will be difference in drug step and different methods of preparations also adopted now steps to build uniform drug step see now hanmanian method or old method there are different drug step in different classes now in new method steps are adopted to bring uniform drug stance mostly the most of the mother tinges or more, most of the drugs should have a uniform drug stance with an exception of a few and this was first suggested by a special committee adopted by american institute of homeopathy and according to this suggestion American Pharmacopoeia Committee prescribed necessary rules to make tinctures to correspond in medicinal strength with durations of the same number. So here, one by ten or one is to nine, according to decimal scale. So that was adopted as a uniform drug strength. And to avoid double standards made by hanman and to secure uniformity in drug strength of all preparations and attenuations that means the dilutions or potencies by making dilutions and titrations of equal degree corresponding to medicinal strength so if the mother tincture has a different drug strength then the potencies made from Of mother tinger may not be uniform, so there should be a uniformity, a unif uniformity in the drug strength and the mother substance level itself. So that was a suggestion made by the committee, and this committee made in all cases the dried crude drug as a unit from which to estimate the drug strength. so there was one more reason for that because in hanmanian time mostly he used the indigenous drug substances that means the plants or whatever the drug substance or raw materials which he is used to make uh, the mother products are taken from locally available substances or indigenous we call it just indigenous substances then homeopathy has gone at a length, length throughout the world then there was a scarcity of the raw material or drug substances 
to available in all these countries and you know most of the time the drug substance which we commonly used are from european countries or from maybe american countries so there was a difficulty in obtaining these drug substances or raw materials from different countries so that is why the pharmacopeia committee they suggested to use dry crude drug instead of the fresh drug substance so that is uh, one more reason for bringing out the modern method plant moisture to be regarded as a part of vehicle or menstrual according to new method so here the difference between the hanumanian method and the new method is hanuman consider moisture or water which is present in the plant as a part of drug whereas in new method they consider plant moisture as a part of vehicle or menstrual as it becomes evident that the water contained in plant is just a solvent and forms no part of its medicinal substance so that was the reason for pharmacopeia committee to suggest a modern method thus homeopathic pharmacopeia of united states in 1941 prescribed a uniform drug strength of 1 by 10 in all medicinal preparations with an exception of few and thus in modern method adopted uniform drug strength very very important adopted uniform drug strength of 1 by 10 for all mother tincture except few and in modern method they used dried drug as a starting material as a raw material instead of fresh drug substance moisture content is estimated to calculate the amount of water to be added in the menstrual to prepare the tincture so uh, even though we are not considering the moisture as a part of drug before preparing a, a drug or a medicine we should calculate how much moisture is present when the the drug substance is in its first stage even though we are using the dried drug substance we need to estimate the moisture so why to estimate the moisture while in first stage so this is to calculate how much amount of water to be added to alcohol to make an ideal menstrual to extract the mother tincture so that depends on the the moisture or water content which is present in the drug substance while in fresh stage so even though we are using dried drug substance as a starting material we need to estimate the quantity of water or moisture which is present in that particular plant why in fresh stage and this is to be calculated to prepare the menstrual menstrual is a solvent which is used to extract and usually it is the mixture of alcohol and water so in order to calculate how much water to be added to the uh, alcohol to make the menstrual it is essential that how much quantity of moisture or, or water is present in drug substance while in fresh state now let us see the modern method of extraction process there are two processes in modern method one is maceration another one is percolation and if you remember the old method or hanumanian method now there are nine classes class 1 class class 1 to class 9 depending on the nature of drug substance and the moisture which is present in the drug substance whereas in modern method there are only only two methods that is maceration and percolation now let us see what is maceration maceration is a process of extracting the active principle from a drug by allowing the drug to remain in contact with the solvent or menstrual at a room temperature for several days with frequent agitation so maceration is nothing but 
the drug substance or raw material is made in contact with the menstruum or solvent for a long period of time maybe for several days say so for example two or uh, four weeks with a frequent agitation daily agitation there should be it should be the container should be shaken every day so that is a process of maceration now what are the indications of maceration so what are subjected uh, drug substance are uh, subjected to maceration process of extraction let us see for a drug material or a raw material which require ample time for extraction of active principle so there are some drug substances very tough which contain most uh, uh, gummy drug substances mucilaginous drug substances which, uh, which contain some active principle which are very difficult to extract like resins oleoresins gum resins etc so all these uh, if it contains all these uh, constituents then it is it will be very difficult to extract out the juice so in such conditions maceration process is used because in maceration what we are uh, doing is the drug substance or raw materials are kept in contact with the solvent for a long period of time so uh, the purpose of keeping it for a long period of time there will be ample time uh, is required to extract the uh, soluble constituents from the or active principle from the drug material okay. so which will be prevent the easy penetration of mens so uh, such drug substances which are gummy mucilaginous uh, viscid which contains uh, the beta constituents like resins oleoresins or gum resin such drug substances are subjected to maceration process now let us see the procedure for maceration so here the procedure is the plant moisture is ascertained or calculated and the quantity of menstruum is calculated accordingly so as i told uh, we are using a menstruum that is uh, or a solvent which is a mixture of alcohol and water and here the uh, amount of water is calculated by uh, estimating the moisture which is present in the drug substance while in first stage and the remaining part of alcohol also is added and if you take uh, 100 grams of drug substance uh, we need to add 9 900 ml of menstruum so then it becomes a 1 is to 1 is to 9 ratio so in new method the drug strength is 1 by 10 so if you want to prepare 1 liter of mother tincture then probably we need to take 100 grams of uh, drug substance and 900 grams of a combination of water and alcohol okay once the water content is calculated the remaining alcohol is also added and mostly we are taking a little more quant little more quantity of menstruum not exactly the 900 ml but maybe 1000 ml or 1050 ml uh, this is to compensate the loss of menstruum during the process or uh, through the evaporation so extra uh, amount of solvent menstruum is also considered by uh, going for a new method of mother preparation and it have to be finally powdered powdered so a moderate uh, moderate uh, uh, coarse powder is used uh, for making uh, the mother tincture in new method so whether it is a maceration process or a percolation process uh, we are using a moderate coarse powder okay since we are using a dried drug substance can be easily made into powdered form okay. so this is this is the procedure now the powdered drug is mixed with the menstruum in a macerating jar so here the powdered drug and the menstruum is taken in a macerating jar and keep covered so it is uh, so once the powdered drug the required amount of powdered drug and menstruum is taken in a macerating 
macerating jar is a, a stainless steel jar of different capacity and it should be kept covered there should not be any evaporation or any contaminations and uh, this uh, macerating jar with powdered drug and the menstrum of the solvent will be kept for two to four weeks and this time depends on the nature of drug substance you suppose the drug substance is easily extractable then we need to keep it for two days uh, two weeks or sometimes uh, the ingredients are very tough to extract then it has to be kept for four weeks and it should be shaken daily and once it is once the time is over then take it and filter the superintendent liquid so decantation is a process of uh, removing the 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 top most uh, liquid part without disturbing the the bottom insoluble substances just by uh, uh, tilting the container so with the filtering we just uh, remove or uh, uh, passing over the liquid portion with, without uh, disturbing the sediments in the bottom of the uh, vessel so then after that it is uh, filtered then the remaining residue which is uh, uh, present in the bottom of the vessel should be pressed in a filter press so it should be properly pressed and the remaining quantity of extract also can be uh, taken out this is how maceration is done. now the macerating jar while preparing the macerating jar the powdered drug and menstrum in macerating jar is kept in a cool dark room in a normal uh, temperature which is away from any dust or odor or heat or direct sunlight okay. so then after that the macerating jar thus uh, we obtain the macerating jar so i repeat the process the powdered drug the required quantity of powdered drug and the calculated menstrum is taken in a macerating jar and keep it in a cool dark room in a normal temperature which should be away from dust odor heat or direct sunlight and this uh, menstrum with powdered drug should be kept for two or three weeks or two to four weeks depending on the nature of drug substance and it should be shaken daily and once the period is over then the passage uh, or remove the liquid portion or it is called as decantation uh, by tilting the vessel without disturbing the sediments and filter the fluid or liquid and the residue which is uh, kept as a uh, sediment should be pressed in a filter press and thus obtain the mother tinder so this is a process of maceration now let us see another process of a new method or modern method that is called as percolation so in percolation what happen is it is a process of extracting soluble constituents of a drug and preparing mother tincture by the passage of solvent or menstrum through the powdered drug contained in a suitable vessel called percolator for a definite period of time as per the directions of the pharmacopoeia so in percolation what happen is uh, the, it is a process of extraction of soluble constituents of a drug and preparing a mother tincture by passing of solvent so here in percolation uh, the drug substances are easily extractable not like maceration maceration in maceration drug substances are uh, which are not easily penetrable or extractable whereas in percolation the drug substances are easily uh, extractable and in percolation uh, the the solvent is allowed to pass through the menstrum it is not kept in contact with the drug substance for a long time but the menstrum is allowed to pass through the powdered drug substance and the extraction is carried out now let us see and this is done with a special type of vessel called as percolator let us see what is a percolator so this is a picture of percolator with a receiving container in the bottom and uh, in the in the other side we can see the the diagrammatic 
representation of percolator lit you can see in the top most part then uh, the menstrum or solvent followed by the layers of sand then uh, track so this is a schematic diagram of percolator now which all substances are substituted for percolation dried drug substance dry vegetable or dried animal drug substance non mucilaginous non viscid drug substances crude drug substance which allow for easy penetration of menstrum and easy extraction of active principles and substances so the substances which are easily which can be easily extractable are included in percolation process now let us see about the apparatus used so i told you percolator is apparatus used the percolator percolating apparatus consists of a percolator which is connected to the receiver the drug is packed in a percolator the percolator has a body which contains the neck and is connected to the receiver so this part is the lid or head this is the neck part and uh, this is the receiving container the percolator uh, the saturated solution emerging from the percolator is called percolate or the extract now how it is operated so it includes following step comminution that is the size reduction as i told in maceration also we are using the uh, moderately coarse powder the drug substance is made into moderately coarse powder then moisten the drug powder with the required amount of uh, menstrum then packing of the percolator so the packing should be done with sand then maceration prior to percolation the percolation proper that termination of percolation so these are the steps involved in a in percolation process now let us see one by one comminution comminution is nothing but it is uh, reducing the size of the uh, drug substance the degree of uh, size reduction depending on the botanical structure of the drug the drug to be sufficiently powdered to rupture all the cell of which it is composed of quick penetration or menstruation the degree of fineness should be accordance with the specified under each monograph in pharmacopoeia so here it should be powdered according to the direction which is given in pharmacopoeia and once it is powdered it is easy for extraction process now moistening the drug before packing the drug in a percolator it has to be moistened with menstrum so this what happen is when you put a dried powder in the percolator and pour some solvent or menstrum this menstrum will absorb the uh, dried or uh, powdered drug substance and extraction may not be possible properly so before packing a percolator uh, with the drug it has to be moistened with sufficient amount of menstrum this is done because when the drug comes in contact with the menstrum the combusted dried cells are swollen to normal size and if swelling occurs within the percolator it would create gaps in between the drug, drug particles thus not allowing a proper percolation so that or uh, extraction so that may be the reason why it should be a uh, moistened with sufficient amount of menstrum before keeping it inside the percolator now let us see the packing in detail so this is a schematic diagram of the inside of the percolator so before preparing a mother tincture with a percolation method we should know that how the packing of percolation is done so this is the neck part and this is the head part so we need to close the stop clock then keep a or a cotton at the mark 
at the neck and cross the cross this uh, orifice with the uh, with a cotton plug now above this cotton plug a layer of sand is placed and that is cold sand layer that is a, a bigger size sand so that is up to uh, 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 one by fourth of an inch is uh, kept with the cold sand now next layer is the another layer of sand that is a medium coarse sand so little more uh, smaller size sand and that is uh, half an inch of a thickness half an inch thickness we should keep a moderate coarse sand and the third layer is a fine layer of sand and uh, this is just to put a fine layer of sand so two layers one is a coarse coarse powder sand that medium medium powder sand then a fine powder sand so uh, three layers of sand and above that the powdered drug substance the coarse powder of drug substance is placed the powdered drug substance is placed above this three layer of sand then above that a filter paper is kept then once the filter paper is kept above that the required amount of menstrum also is kept so here we, we have to put the menstrum or solvent in such a way that it should be just above the layer of just above the layer of powdered drug and once the So the level of menstrum or solvent comes down then again we need to put the uh, menstrum just above the powdered so this is the arrangement of percolator or a percolator packing the bottom part should be lodged with a, a cotton or a filter paper just above that a maximum coarse layer of sand then a medium coarse layer of sand the last the fine uh, layer of sand and above that uh, the drug powder is kept drug powder is kept then uh, above that the filter paper is kept then above filter paper menstrum is uh, poured in such a way that it should be always just above the layer of powdered drug and once the level uh, comes to lower then we need to put menstrum again again it is added and to keep the menstrum just above the layer of powder now maceration prior to percolation the nature and quantity of menstrum to be used for each drug is specified in pharmacopoeia the specified amount of drug plus specified amount of vehicle that is 10 percentage extra initially tap the percolator tap of percolator is kept open and the menstrum is slowly added to the percolator thus a with a glass one close the percolator tap as soon as the menstrum begins to stop for enough menstrum to cover the drug layer Close the percolator with ID and allow. Close the percolator with the lid and uh, allow it to stand for 24 hours or more. So this percolator should be closed properly. Otherwise, uh, there will be operation of uh, menstrum and uh, keep it to uh, up to 24 hours. And once the percolator percolation is over, once the 24 hours is over. open the percolator tap and uh, allow the, per the percolate to collect to a receiver drop by drop not exceedingly 10 to 30 drops per minute so that is the speed of uh, drop and we are keeping 24 hours which we kept the powdered drug substance with mixed and once the uh, 24 hours is over then we are allow to collect the percolate or the mother tincture 
slowly. Menstruum should be added to the percolator so as to maintain its level above the powdered truck, truck layer. Now, termination of percolation. When a colorless liquid starts, once the percolation starts, there will be a third uh, liquid because uh, proper extraction has already taken place. So, the color of the liquid is uh, changes into uh, a dark color, dark brown or greenish brown. Uh, and that depends on the drug substance. Once the percolation is over, once the uh, drug substance is exhausted uh, completely, the color of the liquid comes out of the percolator uh, will be colorless. And that indicates the drug substance has been exhausted of its active principles. So this, that is an indication of termination of uh, percolation. The various forces with which aid in the process of percolation. Gravitational force. So since the percolation is, uh, is a process which uh, facilitates the, uh, facilitated by gravitational force. So here what happened in percolation? The menstruum is allowed to pass through the pass through the drug substance. So gravitational force is a force which is acting mainly in the process of the percolation. Allowing from the top to travel the menstruum from the top to the bottom. So a gravitational force is taking place. That facilitates the movement of menstruum. Now capillary force. Capillary force, surface tension, osmotic pressure, and friction. So these are the other forces which is which facilitates the process of percolation. Since uh, the gravitational force allow the menstruum to percolate through the drug substance, all other forces like capillary force, surface tension, osmotic pressure, and friction, they, uh, they are opposite to the gravitation force and retain the menstruum or solvent with the drug substance so that it facilitates the extraction process more effectively. So it retains the, uh, the menstruum or solvent with the drug powder so that the extraction will be uh, more uh, effective. Thank you all.